Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Our legs are touching. touching. Yeah, that's okay. Touching. What's up, West Hartford? Welcome to Mom's Time Out. Let me introduce the co hosts. <laughs> Lori, Adria, Carol, and Cammy. Happy New Happy Year! Year! Cheers! Cheers! We're back! Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, right? Cheers. All right, there we go. Happy 2017, everybody. Um, we're happy to be back. We hope everyone had a great holiday, a great... We ate a lot, we drank a lot. It <laughs> was for little. sure. It was fun. Party we're behind, that's why we're behind the bar tonight, so <laughs> right. you can't really see us right. from here down. Well, we're used to being behind enjoy. the bar nowadays, so... <gasps> yeah. I mean... Yeah. Spots here. Oh, well, that's be front of, in front of the bar, but we're behind. That's yeah, fine. That's we can fine. serve everybody from behind there. Yeah, that's right. So we were talking a little bit about our um, New Year's resolutions and goals. And yes. Yes. So we, we all have many New Year's resolutions. What was your story? <laughs> I really didn't. <laughs> okay, You're I'll do perfect. the traditional one. You don't need anything. Eat healthy, exercise more, that, be kind to my husband. Typical that's things. Typical? <laughs> yeah. That needs a little bit of work. Yeah, I, yeah, kind of. Johnny, so sure, he appreciates no. that. Nice to Johnny. Nice to each other. Yes, yeah. yes. Mine is just How about you? every year I say the same thing. I'm gonna lose 25 pounds. I'm gonna stop eating sweets, stop carbs, and I've done good so far. There you no go. carbs, good job. but but we don't have to talk about that. But <laughs> that's yeah, good. But, all, but <laughs> I always say like it. it doesn't have to be resolutions. We can just do things like what we want to do to better ourselves. So but be right. kinder to people. Right. And, right. I don't know. I have See? personal goals to like walk four times a week. You know, yeah. kind of like all of that. It's a good time to, nice. to start on yeah. this. My resolution is to be on time. Oh, nice. oh that's yes. Fun. Oh. Time. You know what? That's Everyone on my tells list me too. To be somewhere, you know, half an hour after I'm really, you know, they right. give me a half hour, of, you know, leeway. Leeway. Because I'm constantly late, and it's not nice. We know so you're late. I'm gonna. Work <laughs> <on> that. <laughs> you started off good today. And Adrian too. Maybe you should. No, that that is that. I'll show you that. That is on my list too. Perfect. Um, my daughter said, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, forget it. Oh, I don't know. Okay. She heard that, right. so I'm gonna that try to. Sense. No, I didn't tie myself down together. anything specifically. Really, it's no. just about being healthier and happier. Too. Well, no, but you had a hard 2016. Yeah, I had a hard year, and you know what? I'm just gonna be me Life and do and what I can do, but appreciate things more, I guess. Right, mm -hmm. that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. breathe a little bit. Remember that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Appreciate all the good Mario, you know. what about you? I got three things. Okay. Oh, okay. Go for it. My last 20 pounds off. Because how much have you lost so far? 107. I know. That's You're awesome. awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Yep. That is. And um, be nicer to my wife, of course. Oh, she's a sweetheart. And the last thing is... You don't want to tell us? Is it a secret? All right. It's That's okay. You don't have to tell. A secret. <laughs> right. That's okay. We're just going to try That's to right. guess. Yeah. But now... I'll tell we, you later. <laughs> well, did you see our Bob's Time Out Facebook page? Yes. That changed the subject. We 600. We had 600. So I think, That's I think as a group, our goal could be to get 1,000 likes in 2017. Oh, nice. Yeah. Number. Very too. You know, yeah, I think so too. We have to I be just better told about somebody posting stuff. about it, so she's going to go on and like it too. So. Maybe the ladies at Crate and Barrel. So we have 601. The ladies at, yeah. <laughs> that recognize that Crate and Barrel. <laughs> right, right. That's right. We're going to do more fun things right. in 2017. Right. And, and the mom's time out, we're kind of going with the MTO, right? Short MTO. MTO. Yeah. Yep. Shorten it Hashtag out. MTO. Carol got, I mean, um, Lori got us those really pretty the scarves. The scarf, the shawl scarves. Yeah. They're red and blue. They're really Might nice. Might have seen us wearing them around yeah. town. Yeah. Christmas stroll. Nice. <laughs> I use that when I'm on watching TV now. I know. They're so it's so warm. It's so warm, yeah. yeah. And that's, it's hard to get outside now. I want to be on my couch. Snuggly yeah, warm. More so now. Comfy. And not outside exercising. But, but, we're <laughs> but here we talk, are. But we're going to change that. Behind we the bar. Great Again. show tonight. We have yeah. some fun guests. Um, 
our show is, um, well, I don't mean to take it away, but can Well, our show is all about West Hartford, all of the great things that our town has to offer, events, places, experiences, things, and we have all, it's about all things West Hartford, and we have amazing guests, we have two guests tonight, which we'll introduce mm -hmm. soon. We love living in West Hartford, I can't And there's so imagine. much stuff to choose from, and there's so much stuff in 2017 that's coming into right. West Hartford that's really exciting, right. really fun, different stuff. Um, so it's, it's yeah, going to be a, a good, re, a really good yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. We have some new parts of our show too that yes. will like be surprising new, everybody. Yeah. Right. So we have a new segment on our show starting tonight. It's called Our Favorite Things. So each month, all of us are going to introduce our new favorite thing for the month. So I'll start. Oh, there's our bell. But <laughs> that again, Mario. There's our bell for our new favorite thing. There we go. Okay, those are good sounds. That's our favorite. We know it's our favorite thing. Okay. okay. Oh, I better get mine out. Hold on. Yeah. So we're all gonna get it out. We're gonna okay. put them out. All, all right. Table. Mine's a secret. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna start. Mine is called M61, and it's a Power Glow peel. It's amazing. You could get it at Blue Mercury right in town, West Hartford Center, and um, this one actually is a one-minute, one-step exfoliating treatment, and it's awesome. And you put it on your face. It's like a pad, so you just kind of just exfoliate your skin and it's all tingly it massages your skin and you leave it on don't wash it off and it literally will make your skin radiant and glowing and you put this on and every morning no no like no. once a week once or twice a week How you can do it, it for? so you just just you just don't even put wash it, it off you put it on right before bed really oh. yep and so then it like comes a with a cream after so it's like a deep exfoliating treatment nice. and it's made with like lavender and chamomile so it's really soothing um, All right, how much and I like love, love, love. Laurie? So you could get 10, I think 10 treatments for $28. And yeah. you do it what, once, twice a week? Once or twice a week. Okay. So there's 10 This one's 30 treatments, so it's, this one was a little expensive, but you could get 10 for $28 at Blue Mercury. It's and awesome. And you feel, you see a difference. Yeah, your whole skin gets She's so excited it. about it. So yeah. I'm like, I feel like we should all try this now. Let's try it. We, and you guys should Mario. definitely try it. And Mario, can you buy all of this? And you're not trying yes. mine, because they're expensive. <laughs> so <laughs> buy your own. Okay. And I still have not been in that Blue Mercury. Oh my what? God, it's my oh, new it's favorite place. place. It's my new favorite place, right? Oh, I went there for Halloween so to get there. my makeup oh, done. Yeah, that's right. my, my daughter uses a product line there, the whole yeah. product line. It's not like Sephora, though, I mean. It's better. No, it's better. They have more There's organic candles. options. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to do Lots field trips. And they okay. have spot treatments there, too. Yeah. Okay, so who's next? So my favorite thing is um, WOW Root Cover Up. So as everybody knows, I have a lot of gray hair. I get my hair colored every two and a half <laughs> so weeks. I don't think everybody Nobody does know, does know that, Adrian. but now everybody does that. This is why so now you they use do. that so no one knows. Right, so I do the spray a lot, which is like a hairspray, but it kind of goes everywhere. Yeah. So this is called WOW, and you can get it at most hair salons. I did mine at Contours, and Fringe sells it. Yeah. I think and it opens it. up, and it's really like, see? It's like, it's, it's like a mask. It's like an eyeshadow. Powder, and what it's nice is that it gives you control, so you can take it like this, and like so, right, it gets it right at the root. So when I have like gray, I'm doing it right on there. When I have gray, like you can't spray all here because it would get all over here. So you just do this, and they have different colors. So mine's like a dark brown. I think right. they sold me. And it's it's a little expensive, but look at how much it is in here. Yeah, it'll last, last, last you for I think it was thirty-eight dollars. You don't have that much gray. Right. So, uh, <laughs> you and then you well, can, I, but you it's can only in the roots. roots. That's what I need and it's it for. In between right. colors. Yeah, in between colors. In colleges. between colors, yeah. I use it. So that's my favorite thing. I just love picked it up at Christmas. That that is awesome. awesome. What you got, girl? Mm -hmm. what does All right. So mean? my favorite mm -hmm. little helper right now. I was wondering what this Ooh. contraption was. Yes. 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 Okay. So this is the Amazon Alexa, and I got it a few months ago. I was given a uh, gift card, and I saw this, and I said, "All right, let's try it." So I have this, I have this in the house. It's our sound system. It's kind of in the in the living room, so it's our sound system in the house. We use it for that. We use it for, it's an app that you have to hook up through your computer, your phone, whatever, um, to the Alexa site. They're constantly updating the app. They're providing um, different things you can do, like dur during, um, during the holidays, they had holiday music. During sports oh, okay. events, they had apps that you connect mm -hmm. to, and they connect you to the sporting event. Um, I use it also for um, lists. It keeps like my shopping list. Really? What do you yeah. mean? You say Alexa. Do you like, talk to this thing? You do. What? So oh. it's all voice controlled. So what do you say? Like you say a lot. You have to say the name first because that's like the the oh, start. Do oh, can you do it? Can no, you just... because I did, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi. Okay. Oh, okay. And you have to ask Alexa. You start it by the name. So Alexa, she connects to you, and you say what is, and it's like Google. 
Okay. Um, but what do you what mean is list? You just keep your lists on there? Yep. Alexa, put, um, you know, potato chips on my list. Put apples, put carrots. And then you go to so. the store and how do, you don't take her with you. I don't, but I can do it on my phone. And so it'll is connect it connected to, to the phone? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Imagine and carrying I can do this very around cool. in the grocery it's, store. Oh, it's a little heavy, yeah. Okay. Does it connect to a Roomba? No. Yeah. You know what? You can do that. You can have it connect to Sweet. your lights and your really? different things wow. in the house. You have to get the apps for nice. that. But yes, it can wow. be like kind of controlling all kinds of things. It's great. It's very helpful. Nice. nice. Perfect. Well, Kimmy. mine's not as extravagant as all of <laughs> But like, I don't know why I'm into the chokers. I feel like I'm back in my 90s. I don't know. They're very in pretty. The in the 90s. Like back in the 90s. Yeah. And my kids told me that um, the younger generation wears it and I shouldn't. But I feel like everybody. But you look good in that. They do. Yeah. And I like, I have, I brought a bunch. Like look. Like, you have a collection you, you, you of them. Yeah, we went, we went, Lori and I were in, a couple of us were in New York. We got like really fun ones. You yeah. guys got some too. I got one, yeah. I got one yeah. for Francesca, but yeah. you look good in Ooh, children. I, uh, I think anybody does. Did you wear yeah. that for New Year's Eve? Yeah, That's this is the one you bought in New York. I have a cross one. So anyway, you know, she's like my favorite. Really nice. Yeah, That's I think your new favorite. So That's your new favorite them. thing. I love it. That's my favorite thing. I think Harley Quinn started that whole time. Who? Oh, that's right, Harley Quinn. Yep. What about you, Mario? Do you have a favorite thing? I brought my favorite thing is my oh. wine glass that yeah. you guys gave me. Oh, oh that's very nice. nice. It holds a lot of wine. Well, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Mario. cheers, Mario. So, um, as Cammie said, we have some great guests coming up. We're going to take a break, bring on our first guest, and we'll be right back. And we're back. And we have the lovely Ronnie Newton joining us. Thank cheers, Ronnie. Cheers. 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 Thank, Thank you for, for being coming here. on. Welcome. I have to say, I really want one of those glasses. I know. Okay. All best. right. Can Love you make them. me one? Next time you're on, we're going to have right. it for you. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so Ronnie Newton, if everybody, unless you live under a rock, you know who Ronnie Newton is. She's the founder and managing editor of Weha.com, which is an online newspaper, online news articles. And we're just, when we thought about doing a show about West Hartford, we thought, how can we not have the West Hartford guru on with us? So oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And so, Ronnie, maybe you could start off by saying, like, what, what was the catalyst? Why did you start WeHad.com? Um, the long story or the short story? I guess I better do this <laughs> short story because we don't have unlimited time, and I, I really could talk about West Hartford forever. But um, I have lived in town for almost 19 years now. Um, moved here six weeks before my son, who is almost 19, was born, and I got involved. Actually, wasn't even a journalist to begin with, but. I got involved doing some freelance writing, and then I became a features editor of a magazine, which was called Living in West Hartford, which was actually the predecessor of what's currently West Hartford Magazine. Okay. Um, but then I got hired by Patch, which at the time was really getting into hyper-local news, and I just I loved the idea of writing about West Hartford, because this town has something really special about it, and we'll probably talk about that a little bit, little bit later. but. I just, I love the town and the town loves itself. There's really a lot of community pride and people care about what happens here. So the hyper-local news model really works in a town like West Hartford. So I got laid off by Patch, as did 90% of the company. And then I, I tried to figure out what I wanted to do next. And I thought I would get a job, but I mm -hmm. haven't worked really in an office in 19 years. And um, maybe I'm not all that suited for other people telling me when I have to be places. I like to kind of make my own schedule and, and kind of run my own business. So I did PR for about a year, and then I got approached by our former patch sales manager who was getting involved in, in kind of putting together a new hyperlocal site. So one thing led to another, and in the summer of 2014, we did a soft launch of wehide.com. And in September of 2014, we took the beta sign off and we went live. And it has just, it has grown tremendously. And I'm, I'm so proud of really the body of work that, you know, that I've put together along with help from other people. And um, the first year, we had about 750,000 page views. This past year, in 2016, so I, I looked at the analytics before writing my year in re review, 2.4 million wow. page views. Wow. And that means people That's looking so at it online. That's how, wow. Yeah, how many people read each article online. That's so a, a page is one article. So, so it wasn't hard for people to go from paper to so online. I no, mean, I mean, I think people, you know, we, I use Facebook a lot. Mm -hmm. I use other social media to kind of help get people to read. Right. 
our articles, and we also have a newsletter that comes out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So right. there's a bunch of different entry points where, where people go to the site, but really building it from absolutely nothing to getting to That's this amazing, point in numbers. just a couple years. Yeah. And you cover everything. I mean, from like Little League baseball yep. games to town hall mm -hmm. meetings yeah. to big events. And I feel town. like if we want to know something, I yeah. always seem to That's go to you. Yeah. Right. 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 So well, it's funny. I, I really cover the wide range of of things. I mean, even if I just think about what I wrote today, right um, Right before I left to come here, I published the Throwback Thursday, because it's today's Thursday, you're going to be watching it Which is Monday, super but, fun, and so, yeah. so many people are so into that. So I did that, I wrote two police stories today, and I wrote this great heartwarming story about um, some kids at Braeburn Elementary School who did two great service projects in December. So it's really just like the, the whole gamut of, you know, sports, I police, um, town hall events, government meetings, the budget, which, you know, those are important topics. Right. They're you very hard to write did, about. I saw you something did just us. come out, right? You, you did us. You did a wonderful yes. Yes. Right. You did. My favorite thing to do is really the features type stories, just kind of really heartwarming features about you know things happening in the community or profiles of people. I'd say my least favorite thing to do, although they get a lot of page views, are obituaries. Yeah. Um, and and I've had to write about a number of tragic things that have happened, you know, over the past couple of years. But but I know that it's important and it's important information for people to have. So whether you know it's something right. that I like life. writing about or not, right. it's something that's, yeah. that's important. Right. If you had to say, Ronnie, if you had to pick one thing that you, I mean, this is hard to say, but what do you, why do you love living in West Hartford? Like, what's the, what makes us so special? You said how special it was. It, you know, I don't think there is one thing. I think the first time I ever came to West Hartford decades ago, because my husband grew up here, my dad dropped me off at my future in-laws house long before they were my future in-laws. And I drove down their street, they lived on Castlewood Road, and it was just like perfect suburbia. It was, you know, uh, sidewalks, oak trees, these great colonial yeah, houses, yeah, and it, right. it just, it was such right. a great neighborhood, and I got a ride through town and, you know, went to the center, which was nowhere near so what the center is right. now. It was yeah. really, yeah. really different. Hartford. This was in the 1980s, so it was very, very different. But West Hartford just had something about it, and I fell in love with it back then, and remember a lot about what West Hartford was like back then. And it's it's changed a lot. I mean, even in the, the intervening years between when I first visited and when we moved here in 1998, and looking at what it's like now, there's been quite an evolution. But it's, I can't remember what the exact tagline is, but on the, the town website, it's something like village charm. But oh, it's, right, because right. it's a city. West Hartford it, is a city, but people yeah. think of it as a town. It's a town. It's a town. I mean, it, it, it everybody is technically knows everybody. a town. But yeah, you can't, it's, it's a very big, small town at the same yeah. time. Mm -hmm. So you can't go to Stop and Shop without running into, oh, running into people you know. Oh, and, <laughs> you can't go in without. But yet, it's like diverse, and it has all yeah. the things that. Yeah, the six degrees of separation in West Hartford. It's a half degree of separation. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I you know just thinking of like how I've gotten to know all of you guys. You yeah, know, right. Lori and I have known each other for years, years. from from yeah. baseball, yeah. and Adrian and I met through Scoop Night, yeah. and um, Cami and I share. Being, tribe sisters. Uh, tribe sisters, exactly. <laughs> and Carol, right. I met more recently through you guys when I first yeah. Yeah. wrote but about right, the show. I like that. It's yeah. like a half a degree. Of right. It is. And I right. feel like people come from outside towns mm -hmm. and park their car just to walk around and, yeah. you know, whether it's the restaurants or the... Right. And we have things. other exciting things happening. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We do. To play yeah. off this town, like, coming up. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. There's, you know, there's a lot that goes on here. There's, you know, you can you can watch great theater at Playhouse and Park. There's the West Hartford Symphony. The schools are fantastic. Community um, theater, West Hartford Community Theater. Right. Right, right here. Hartford Community That's Theater. Right. No, there's, there's, West Hartford has its own team. television yep. Yep. station. You know, mm -hmm. it, there's just so yep. much that the town has to offer. And I think, I think the people who run this town, all the people who work here at Town Hall, really, really care about it. And you just, I look at what happens in some other communities and it's not hard to cover the government here because it's really, I mean, people disagree sometimes. They're different political views, but mm -hmm. 
for the most part, it's very civil and very well run and very, very ethical. Well, before oh, yeah. we end, we want to give you, we have a gift for you. Yep. Because we, we always forget to we give do. our guests. Or we drink it, the, one or the other. I, I don't know. So it's, we have here it is. bottles of wine for you. Thank you, thank you for yeah. coming. Thank thank you. Thank you. I love what you said that West yeah. Hartford loves itself. It, or, it, it does, really it does. does. West yeah. Hartford loves itself. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna yeah, I won't. Your, I won't. We're going to bring we're another, gonna bring another guest. guest. Oh, wait, wait. Can I wear my hat though? Yes. Oh, yeah. Or do I have to wait? Can I put no, no, put your hat on. on. Love it. See, this so is about cute. West Hartford loves itself so much that we know. Ah, there you go. I, I have some toes and I have my husband. I have to get one. Yep. So cute. All right, now I mess Thanks my hair up. <laughs> and we are here with our next fabulous guest. I am thrilled and honored to introduce our next guest, Jeff Lavanio. Um, we're talking about all things West Jeff. Hartford. Hey Jeff, cheers. cheers, Jeff. Cheers. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Jeff is the Marvel. founder and chief visionary behind the brand new WH Squared mobile app. And it's all things West Hartford. What's happening, West Hartford? Jeff? Welcome. 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 So we are it. so excited to have this. I am thrilled. To w have this H app. squared, not West Hartford squared. Right. It's W H squared, which I guess would stand for what's happened in West Hartford. Oh, what's which happening? A double. What's right. happening oh, in West Hartford. I just so the tagline yes. is what's happening in West yeah, Hartford. That's right. yes. W H squared. Exactly. You know, that's awesome. Okay. Words. Exactly. So it just launched. You just launched it. We did not launch yet. No. Oh. No. We're in beta beta testing right now. A lot of testing going on. So getting a lot of the data up there, fixing things. So. But you have a Facebook page that we follow. Facebook page. We got the web page. Uh, people can sign up there to beta okay. test it once once we do uh, do that. Um, coming probably spring. Um, and what will the app entail, Jeff? Tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, so the app itself leads, it's a little bit different than what's out there now. So what's out there now is we know what the places to go, right? right. We've got the Yelps. So we got the Yelps, the right. four, yeah, four squares, square. all that stuff. So what I envisioned was coming up with something where it, it starts with what to do, right, or what's happening. So uh, we live in this awesome town of West Hartford. There's 63,000 residents. and. Um, when I did a survey, 85% of people that live in the town do at least 80% of their activities, daily, yeah. week, weekly, monthly activities in the town. So we right. live in a little bit of a bubble. Right. Uh, we don't Definitely. tend to leave here. It right. kind of says a lot about our town. Why go anywhere? Why, why would you leave? So we're all here. It's, it's great. Um, but there wasn't a one-stop shop resource to find out just stuff to do in town. And not only that, it wasn't mobile enabled. So. Um, I came up with the idea about a year and change ago. Um, I had my daughters one weekend. It was a rainy Saturday. I was just looking for kids events. Just yeah. I knew there was a ton to do in town. I was right. just going in and out. I didn't have my laptop on me. Um, so I was at the house. I was on my couch with the girls and going through it. I'm like, I'm going in and out of websites. And I said, there's got to be a better way. Right. So looking through, I finally found something to do. But I said, well, if I can find out, come up with a, a solution for kids, I can also come up with a solution for adults. Yeah. Right. Right. So in real fitness time, fitness events and right. happy hours and, and I like that it's on your phone, so you don't it's have all to. On the phone. It's all on exactly. one place. Exactly. Yeah. It will be all on the phone. Because I feel like we do have stuff like that, kind of for kids, like Hula Frog or Mary Poppins. If I'm looking for kids' events, but Correct. nothing for like you just put something out about the best happy hours Correct. in West Hartford, right. mm -hmm. which I love. Mm -hmm. but it, and you can actually click. I was kind of doing a little research, but you can actually like click on, so it's like an alphabetical order, right? And correct me if I'm wrong. And then you can click on the happy hour if you want to see the menu, if you want to see a little bit more. Oh, it, it'll it dive on deeper there? into nice. each. Yeah, you can sort by hour. So if you don't get out of work till 6 o'clock, which right. a lot of us do, and you want to catch a happy hour, you can sort by which one's in it? So seven. that's how you started wow. it. You were just because you have daughters, little ones. I have twin daughters. Yeah. How old are they? Uh, six years old. That's awesome. So, so you were looking for something for them to do, right? And mm. came up with this. Yep. So it's when will you know awesome. that it can like? Yeah, we're we're doing testing now. Um, so working with the developers, and probably we'll do a large, a smaller beta test next month in February with a with a smaller group. In um, March, a larger beta test, and then fix them whatever's you know it, 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 wrong with the app or whatever. And then we want to make sure we launch with something that's viable and usable in town, and it's a resource for people. You know, so. can I make a suggestion? You need to do something that has moms. Like do like a moms only app. Like we can do a launch party with you, but do something for moms. Like I would click it. 
What can moms do? Well, you can even, he even has, there's the capacity that you could put a blog, he could put a blog on there. That's, he could bring yeah. in news. He can, right? You there's, know, yeah. this about the moms. No, no, I mean, yeah. but you could, you could make it about the moms. Yeah, I'm this, will, yeah. Moms. this yeah. will evolve over time. So right. people had said different yeah. categories are evolving. Um, I did a focus group where people were asking about volunteer. So I could just oh, build a volunteer yeah. button yep. and click that and a bunch of volunteer right, opportunities and, the, and the businesses can put those events right. in there right so in yeah. the business it will be up to them so it's 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 great it'll be great for not only the people that use the app looking for events but for businesses to post their awesome. events okay yeah. Jeff so if, uh, if I'm a business owner mm -hmm. how much does this cost me to use the to, to utilize your app yeah so that's a great part it's free for everyone it's free wow. for users so if I want to, to advertise download. absolutely it's, it's you can free put your for blog businesses on to list their own business so um, so for if you want to uh, list your business on the app it's free to do that and you can list your events for free as well so it's a, it's got to be nice. a yeah. it's got to be a comprehensive so if you download the app and you open it up there's only 10 things on there and nobody's going to use it yeah. right right so that's why I wanted to encompass the entire town so it's amazing and um, then I was talking about how we could collaborate more with Ronnie with her news and so if she has news features there's the ability to put that on your she app very awesome. like yeah. and so it's real time it's up to date it's just another Content. way of Distribution. Cross crossing. We should probably talk about collaborating our calendars too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty vibrant calendar. Yeah. yeah. But That's between the two yeah. of us, it's yeah. On. People don't realize it's there. They yeah. Just realize, but then they don't necessarily see think it. To look go for there. It. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. That's awesome. We're so excited. So when you have your launch party, and tell us about it so we can spread the word. Yes, we'll I think we're going to. Yes. yes. You, yeah. And we're going to. We we're going to. We have wine for you too. And That's I think we're going to. Um, we're going to flash up his um, logo so everyone yeah, can find the app. Everybody. So if people want to like like your. Nice. Thank or you. sign up for your app right now. Can they do that? So yeah. So um, people can sign up for the exclusive access. So you go to the website whsquared.com. Mm -hmm. W and a sign up form will, will come up so you sign up for access so when we do do the release the larger beta test you can have the first access so sign up. definitely sign up that's awesome it's, I'm so I'm excited yeah. this is unbelievable all in one place thank you so much thank Jeff you. for coming thank on our you, show thanks, thanks for having me thank you Jeff congratulations yeah, it sounds like it's going to be phenomenal cheers 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 Great show. So excited. Yeah, I'm excited for everybody. So happy you live here. I know. We're, we right? love West Coast. I don't want to leave. Like and we're like that. on the cutting edge of everything. I think. We're like in our own little bubble. Yeah. We are. We are. We are in a little bubble. It. Yeah. That's fine. We're happy. I'm getting that app. I'm getting that app. Yes. Yeah. I'm getting that app. I'm, I'm yeah. on the, the prototype beta site, so I'm ready. Yeah. I'm waiting. When it rolls yeah. out, yep, we'll be on it. Exactly. And we have a nice um, contest. We do. We have our... an awesome contest that's going to run on our Facebook page, so don't forget to go on Facebook. Like our page, Mom's, Mom's Time, Time Out, out and, and share our page. And, and we then have, we'll enter you into our We little. do. We have a really fun WeHa giveaway, uh, uh, contest. contest. Yes. So thank you, everybody. We had a great show. We we'll, did. Thank uh, you have so a much. Great month. And uh, we'll see we'll you next time. Yes. yes. And don't forget, you put the time in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take the time, time out. out. Cheers. 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 Mario. Cheers. Place where you go every night and you snuggle up real tight. Is it in front of your screen? Where everything we show is exactly how it seems. Everything we show is right for you. Everything we show is true, true, true. So get your drink and give us a wink. Cause what you're watching is mom's time out.